Hi, travelers. This is Sophie Kaner, co-creator and producer of The Penumbra. And I wanted to fill you in on what the rest of the season is going to look like since we're going to be changing up the format a little bit. So this episode, Home, is the last standalone one-shot. It is horror. And although it is not a story about domestic abuse, it may be disturbing for those who find those themes triggering. So please do bear that in mind. As far as the rest of the season... Next week, we're going to release a bonus episode two weeks ahead of the next Juno story. And then after that, one more bonus episode and then the final Juno story of the season. And as always, if you support us on Patreon, you'll receive these episodes two days early. Thank you so much for all of your support online. We do read all of your reviews. It means so much to us and we really appreciate it. And we look forward to sharing the rest of the season with you. Ah, good evening, traveler. Welcome to the Penumbra. A family came in just this morning, and they've brought a most unusual guest. It seems they're moving across the country, but you know the old saying. You can never leave home behind. What luck! It sounds like they're in. Come, traveler. Come with me into room 259. Home. Jacob, Lily, it's time to get up. Lily? Lily? Hmm. Now this is strange. <laughs> Such a strange lump on the couch. Now what could it be? Gosh, I hope we don't have a termite problem or a tiger problem. Rawr, 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 rawr. Oh my, a roaring lump. Mom's going to want to see this. Hey, honey! Honey, we have a code lump down here! She can't hear me. I guess I'll just have to deal with the old lump myself. <laughs> rawr, rawr. <laughs> What's the best way to take care of a lump? Maybe flatten it out? <laughs> well, I do have a good flattener. No! Where was it again? Don't Oh, that's right. Thanks, Lump. Well, here goes. You'll never catch me. I'm the fastest Lump there is. Lil, look out for the table. Ow. Whew. Close one. I didn't break Jake's trophy. It fell off all by itself. Lily, it's not... I didn't do it. I didn't. Jake, Jake's trophy isn't broken. I caught it. Just try to be careful. You think Jake's grouchy now. Sorry, Dad. I won't tell if you don't. What are you doing up so early anyway? Hiding. From anything in particular? Monsters. Monsters? Heavy stuff. It was a really scary monster, Dad. It had a big white face, and it didn't have any eyes, and it had these big, big teeth, like like the lions at the zoo, but bigger. And then you woke up. Am I right? It wasn't a nightmare. It was real. Really real. Shh, shh, it's okay. It was just a bad dream, Lil. Don't tell me there's no such thing as monsters, because that's what Grandpa always says, and he's wrong. There's all kinds of monsters, like vampires and werewolves and aliens and two-headed aliens. No, there are monsters. Of course there are monsters. You saw it too? Just none in this house is all. I'm sure of that. Remember when the exterminators came? Those guys with the blue hats, the ones you said smelled like feet and fish? Yeah. They got rid of all the monsters already. That's what they do. I thought you said they were here for rats. Well, yeah, but while they were at it, they took care of the monsters, too. I had a coupon. Oh. That makes sense. But why did we have to have exterminators in the first place? It's just one of those things you do when you're getting ready to move to a new house. Wouldn't want to leave anything nasty behind for the next family. But, Dad! Dad, what if there are monsters in the next house? There won't be. But what if there are? Did you call exterminators? Are there exterminators there now? I don't want to go if there's going to be monsters, Dad. Come on, Lil. I don't want to go, Dad. I don't want to move. I know, I know. You and Jake both. Well, if there are monsters there, Lily, you could always use the magic rhyme. What magic rhyme? Really? You never heard the magic rhyme before? Well, no wonder you're scared. The magic rhyme is only the most powerful monster repellent in the whole world, Lily. 
You just have to say it once, and anything scary that hears it heads for the hills. No way. Yes, way. Do you want to hear it? Maybe. All right. I want you to listen and say it after me, okay? Here goes. When I say one, all the monsters better run. When I say one, all the monsters better run. When I say two, I don't want to hear boo. When I say two, I don't want to hear boo. Now I said three, so stay away from me. Now I said three, so stay away from me. That's it, Lily. You've got it. Now just say that. Now Whenever... I'm saying four, so don't come back no more. And I'll say five, because I'm not a zombie. I'm alive. And when I say it, six... Uh, it just goes up to three, Lily. Oh. Okay. But what if it doesn't work on monsters? What if the new house has new monsters that don't know what they're supposed to do when they hear the rhyme? Lil... Why do I get the feeling that this isn't really about monsters? I don't want to move, Dad. <sighs> this old place has been good to us, hasn't it? Do we have to move, Dad? Really? It's just... time for us to go, Lil. Jake! Jacob! Have you seen your sister? What the hell, Mom? Language, Jake. You woke me up. Don't talk back to me! Sorry, kiddo. Oh, Duty calls. Just You'll be fine. The new place will be even better than this one. I promise. Sure, Dad. It's gonna be better than this one. Better than this one. I am not hanging around here all day. Yes, you are, young man. We told you about this two weeks ago. Come on, you two. Do we really need I don't need care. To... I've got plans. Well, if you made plans, then you can cancel them, too. If I can cancel mine, then you can cancel yours. You know, I get really cranky when I'm hungry. Is anyone else hungry? I bet we're all hungry. Your who wants eggs? Your father and I have a meeting with an important client, Jacob. The kind of client who pays for that skateboard of yours. I don't care who you're meeting with. We only have one more week here, and I'm going to go see my friends. Have them over here, then. <laughs> In this dumb house, there's nothing here. Your sister is not staying home alone. Uh, get a sitter. All day and all night. Do you know how much that costs? Ask your stupid client to pay for it. Jacob Michael Carter, you are staying here and that is final. Honey. Not now. Maybe you should... We're already late for our meeting. Love you, Lily. Love you too, Mom. Do some packing while we're gone, please, and try to straighten up the living room and keep an eye on your brother. You know the rule. He's in charge of me and I'm in charge of him. Good girl. Remember that the phone in the kitchen's disconnected, but if you need to call us, you can use the one in my office. There are emergency numbers on the desk, okay? Okay, Mom. Mike, you have the papers. Already in the car. Traffic permitting, we should be back by midnight. Don't get to bed too late, and don't let your brother watch TV all night. I won't, Mom. I know you are. <laughs> Bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. Have they gone yet? <gasps> You scared me! I didn't hear you come down the stairs. Well, that's because I didn't come down the stairs, genius. You took the secret passage, didn't you? One of them. You came from the kitchen! That means it must be in the kitchen, right? Wouldn't you like to know? Jake, you promised! Did I? I don't remember that. You did! You did! We were in trouble with Mom and Dad because we were playing tag in the kitchen, which we're not supposed to do, and then I snuck into your room and we made a fort. Come on, stop making stuff up. We did! And we were telling scary stories, and you scared me. And then you felt so bad that I you... I promised to tell you where the secret passage was. Wow, you really remember all that? We used to play together all the time, Jake. Yeah, we did. Look, Lil, you wouldn't believe me about the secret passage even if I told you. Yeah, I would. No, you wouldn't. Well, can we play a game now? What if we played hide-and-seek, please? Lily... Come on, please, please, please! You can hide in the secret passage, and I'll find you. No, it doesn't. And you really... have to give me hints, or else it isn't fair, okay? That's okay? not how it works. Sometimes the secret passage just makes itself hard to find. That doesn't make any sense. I said you wouldn't believe me. Jacob, that's not fair! That's not... You moron! Lily, it's broken! Just a little bit of it. It's only the baseball bat part. Jake, what are you doing? Putting on my shoes. I'm going out. I don't care what Mom said. I'm going out. You can't be mad about the trophy. It's your fault. If you just told me where the secret passage is, I wouldn't have... Shut up, Lily! You shut up! You're just mean, Jake! You used to be fun, but now you're just a mean boy! It's not my fault. You're just a dumb little kid. 
Well, at our new house, I'm going to find all the secret passages first, and I'm not going to tell you about any of them. I heard the new house is going to be even better than this one. Better? There are a thousand houses that look exactly like the one we're going to move into. Maybe millions. So? All of them could be good. You don't know. You don't get it. It's not going to be the same, Lily. You're never going to see your room or the yard or your spot in front of the TV or anything ever again. All of those things are going to belong to somebody else. Well, maybe they'll let us visit. Visit? Visit what? You think you're going to knock on the door and say, Hello, ma'am, mind if I come in and see how my bedroom's doing? I don't know. It'll be gone forever. You'll never see it again. I don't care how good the new place is. It's not better. It's not special. It's just bigger. And whoever told you anything else is an idiot. But Dad told me. Well, there you go, then. He is not an idiot. Dad knows everything. He even knows how to keep the monsters away. He just said that to make you stop whining. Dad can't keep all the monsters away. He can, too! Maybe some of them. But not the worst monster there is. The one with the pale skin, and no eyes, and the long teeth like needles in his mouth. Stop it! Stop it! And it's got long claws, and it's standing behind you right now! Ah! <laughs> Ooh, Jacob, you make me so mad! Later, Lil. I'll bring back a pepperoni pizza for dinner. I hate pepperonis. And I hate you, stupid jerk! The new house is going to be better than this one. Dad said so. It's going to be better. dream. Mom? Dad? Jake? Anybody? I'm thirsty. But the kitchen is so far away. Jake must be watching TV. It'll be safe. sleep in front of the TV again? What the heck, Lily? You're always waking me up to play games and make forts and have fun, but, you know, all I want to do is sleep and listen to my music so loud it hurts and eat all the cheesy chips before you get any and... <laughs> Stay away from me. Just a little glass of water, and then right to bed, Lily.
power went out. That's all. It's just the power went out. things, Lily. There's no such thing <laughs> When I say one, all the monsters better run. And when I say two, I don't want to hear poop. Lily? Lily, where are you? Lily? Jake, help! What are you doing downstairs? I was just getting some water, and I think there's some kind of monster. Come up here. I have matches and and everything. No, Jake, you have to come down and get me. Come up to my room, Lily. It'll be fun. We can make a fort and tell scary stories. But you never let me in your room. Well, tonight's different, all right? Just get up here. But I'm scared! Can't you bring the matches down? Jake? Jake? Ugh! Dark, I can't see any. Oh, no, 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 not Jake's trophy. It's where'd the trophy go? <laughs> Jake, this isn't funny. You're gonna be sorry. That's weird. I can't see anything outside, and the window's all covered in something. to play tag, Lil? Running up and down through the halls while Mom and Dad were away? I'm it. Jacob! Why? You want reasons, Lil? I'll give you a few. One! You broke my trophy. Two! You always keep me away from my friends. Three! You're just as bad as they are. And four! Reason four! Because you want to leave me. Hold still. All right, Lil. You're too good at this game. I get it. Lily? I'm... I'm really sorry. Listen, you're right. It wasn't funny. Come on out. We can play a game, okay? Or a fort. Hey, what if we pile a bunch of sofa cushions and made a fort, Lil? Just like we used to do. I'll even give you the spot you like, the one closest to the TV. Lily. Lily, please come out. I don't want to be mad at you. Lily, where the fuck are you? I gotta go. I gotta get help. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. No, why won't the door open? There you are. <gasps> Damn it, Lily, where are you? Lily! Lily. How come you never want to play anymore? 
Lily, you little bitch, get out here. Monsters better run, and when I say two, I don't want to hear boo. Now I said three, so. You're it. Mom's not gonna be happy that you made such a mess. Running around, breaking all those doors and tables. What happened? You're supposed to be the good one. I didn't break anything. You did it. You're acting crazy, Jake. I did? We did, Lily! We both did. Let me go! You always do this. The second we get in trouble, I'm the big bad monster, and you're the sweet little sister, and you leave me behind. You abandon me! Let me go! This always happens. They always leave. No matter what I do, they always leave! Well, not anymore. I'll kill you! And when they come home, I'll kill them too. And then you'll all stay with me. You can't make him leave me. Jake, stop it! You sound crazy! Him. I mean... Me. I mean... You can't make me leave. I won't leave. Jacob, stop! My head! Oh, my head! No! Jake, look out! The rock's on fire! You're hurting me, Lily. Why are you hurting me? Why? Why? Ah! What? But the fire isn't even touching you! Jake! What are you doing? Get out of the fire! You won't kill me. Jake, stop it! Ah. I gotta help him. I gotta find some weight. Mom's coat! you leave me? Because I love you. Lily, I... No, she's lying. They want to leave. They don't want to leave me. Jake, what are you saying? Shut up! Lily, don't listen. You have to go. You have to run. Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! I said I'm not going anywhere! I take care of you and you take care of me! Jake? I'm sorry, Lil. It wasn't me. I'm... I'm so sorry. Jake! I'm so glad it's you. I didn't want to do it, Lil. Not really. There was something. I couldn't control it. I was angry and so was it. It just got... It got in me, you know? It was just so big, Lily. It was so big. But what was it? It was the house, Lil. It can control things. Anything that's part of it. Earlier, I could feel it making noises and stuff. Monster noises downstairs to scare you to come up. Come on, get out of here. Jacob! Run, Lily! The door's locked! Shit. We've got to find a way out. Now. The house can... I don't know, change its shape, lock the doors, and... That must have been where the secret passages came from. I told you, sometimes they just disappear. The secret passages. What? The secret passage. Come on, there's no time. Get up the ladder a little, quick. Okay, Jake. Ow! What is it? The ladder's getting so cold, it hurts. Don't leave the house looks that we're in here, little. Hurry. Where are we, Jake? My room. The 
I'm gonna try to climb out. Ooh, the window's locked. Your door's locked. I can't see anything out there. It's like the glass just went black. Ow! What? What happened? The window hit me. Ow! Lily, Lily, the ceiling's coming down. The house. Why is the house trying to crush us? Get over here, Lily. I'm scared, Jake. Come on, quickly. There you are. I got you. It's okay. Why is it doing this, Jake? Why does it want to hurt us? I don't know. Lie down, Lily. Lie down and don't think about it. But I'm scared. Me too. It's okay. It's just a game, Lily. We're just trying to scare each other like we used to, right? Jake. Remember those games? We tell scary stories and see you could make the best monster noise. <laughs> it's just mine, Lily. Really. Just a really good monster noise. Mom and Dad will be home soon and everything's gonna be fine. But No No buts. And when you have nightmares because of those scary stories, you can blame them all on me in the morning. Sound good? I won't have any nightmares. I promise. You're really brave, Lily. I'm sorry. No, Jake. I love you, Lil. I don't wanna die, Jake. It's okay, Lily. I want to build forts and play tag in the kitchen and make monster noises and play hide and seek. Shh. And I want to hide in my spot on the couch and I want to play in the yard and fight with you about the best spot for me. And I don't want to die. And I don't want to leave Jake because I love you and I love this house and I... What the... Jake? What happened? I, I don't... Look! The stars and the moon and the streetlights, they're all back. It's back! We made it! It's back! I wonder if... My stomach... The burns, they're... They're just gone. Everything's... Fixed. <coughs> Jacob... Have you seen... Lily! Uh-oh. Just what do you two think you're doing up so late? Mom! Mom Dad! Dad! Oh. Would you two like to explain yourselves? We, uh... We thought we'd never see you again! Never? Traffic was bad, but it wasn't that bad. Have you two been telling scary stories again? The power was just out for a while. Lily was scared, that's all. You were scared too! Blackout or no, this is unacceptable. The living room is a mess. But I thought... Shit. Jacob! I mean... Listen, I can explain everything. The walls and the table and stuff were all my fault. The I had to... table? Hey, listen, don't What is get there a... to explain exactly? Mom, I'm trying you'll to... You'll expl- come with me and you'll show me what's wrong with the table, Jacob Michael Carter, and when you're done showing it to me, you can pay for it too. Mom! So, what's up with the table? Jake? I... We broke it. Oh, jeez. You didn't chip the wood, did you? You know Mom loves that table. Dad, I think we kind of exploded it. And the walls. And some of the windows, probably. And You know, Lil, I didn't see any exploded tables coming in here. Really? Really. No walls or windows, either. Just some stuff you were supposed to pack up. Let's uh, get you to bed, okay? Okay, Dad. So, what were you two doing up so late, anyway? Jake was taking care of me. And I... I was taking care of him, Dad. Jake! Lily! Get your bags and get in the car. It's time to go. Just a second, Mom! Is it done yet, Jake? Almost. There. Read it! Read it! All right, here we go. Dear whoever lives here next, welcome home. Before you get settled in, we want to give you a warning. Well, not exactly a warning, really. We hope this is just advice. Because this house is special. It'll give you everything you want if you let it. Secret passages and spots for forts. Places you can hide when your parents are being, you know, parents. But you have to treat it right, okay? Play in the yard. Have friends over when you can. And tell it you love it every once in a while. We think it needs to hear that. And if it doesn't, well... Things might get weird. We hope you like it here. And we really hope it likes you here, too. Good luck, Jake and Lily. Lily and...
and Jake. Lily and Jake. Uh, Lily and fine. Jake. Fine. Good luck. Lily and Jake. P.S. Lily swears she saw a dinosaur bone in the backyard. I think it was probably a dead cat, but like go nuts or whatever. Yes. 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 Glad you like it. Want to find a place to hide it? Okay. Just give us a minute already. She really doesn't get it. Hey, Jake. Yeah, Lil? Is this next house going to be as good as this one? <sighs> Honestly, I kind of feel like like you only get one first house, you know? Like we're going to live in a bunch of places, but none of them are ever going to be like this one. Do you think the house will be okay without us? Yeah. Sad for a while, maybe. Why? Ah, oh, fine, fine, we're coming. We should go. Mom keeps yelling like that, she might pull something. In just a sec. Okay, um... <clears throat> Later, house. It's been... good. Bye-bye, house. I'll miss you. If you've enjoyed this tale, please consider supporting the Penumbra on Patreon. You could receive episodes early, read our scripts, and hear commentary by our casting crew for only a few dollars per episode. You can find that page at patreon.com slash the Penumbra Podcast. That's p-a-t-r-e-o-n dot com slash the Penumbra Podcast. Please consider supporting the artists who make this possible. Every dollar helps. You can also support The Penumbra by liking us on Facebook, following us on Twitter at The Penumbra Pod, telling your friends about us, telling your friends to tell their friends about us, and especially by rating and reviewing our podcast on iTunes. Every rating, comment, and kind word spreads our stories farther and inspires us to keep creating more and better tales to come. This tale, Home, was told by the following people. Kate Jones as Lily, Joshua Elon as Jacob, Noah Symes as dad, and Kat Buckingham as mom. On staff at the Penumbra, Kevin Vibert is our lead writer and recording engineer. Sophie Kaner is our director and sound designer. Graham Turner is our script editor. The Penumbra was created by Sophie Kaner and Kevin Vibert. I'm so sorry you've been called away, dear traveler. We eagerly await your return. <laughs>